Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another TEW 2020 Predicts video to series where we use the magic ball is total extreme wrestling to gaze into the future and see what may be to come in the career of a particular superstar. And today we're going very hardcore and very extreme with not in the shortlist. That's always fun for me. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Darby Allen, an AEW original of sorts, really made his name over in a W six years of experience daredevil if you've seen that darby allen then daredevil doesn't really do him justice does it jesus christ this could go one or two ways he could have a very good very long career get to the top of AEW, maybe go WWE when they go bankrupt you know a lot of good stuff or he could break his neck within a week you know darby allen um god i mean yeah daredevil Deathmatch wrestler, high pain threshold. Threshold. He uh, he's going to be willing to do a lot of spots, and hopefully they all go well. <laughs> Starting off things as well. He has that one TNT title run, uh, which went six months. So hopefully he'll be able to add to that. Fingers crossed. Without further ado, let's jump into it, and let's simulate to the end of the career of Darby Allen and look to answer that magical question of what is to come in the career of AEW's. Darby Allen. And here we are, Monday, week one, February 2039. Uh, at the very least, he didn't break his neck within a week, eh? We've gone forward uh, just under, you know, 16 to 17 years. TJPW's Winter Lovers Night Freeze just happened. So that's nice. Uh, and New Japan have extended their Will Ospreay deal. God. Uh, and Darby Allen's retired. After uh, a career, uh, I'm going to be honest, yeah, this might be, I God, I can't remember most of the predicts I do, honestly, off the top of my head, like fully, but this has got to be at the bottom of the careers, no offence to DDT, where he spent most of his career. Darby was released by AEW in March 2023, so less than a year after this experiment began, he was released by AEW. He wasn't hired by Defy until November on a handshake deal. He got into some backstage trouble in Defy after he appeared on a local TV show. Uh, made a comment about him and Kevin Knight over here not liking each other. Kevin Knight from used to be in NXT. I mean, he's been Jet Knight for a while, dominating in WWE for a bit. Uh, um, obviously, though, yeah. Good start to things in Defy. Uh, that was in 2025. He left the fire in 2025. Uh, he was hired by DDT on an exclusive ring contract. And he has spent the rest of his career in DDT. So from June 2025 to now, even in February 2029, he's hired there as a manager. He's with DDT. So he just became a DDT guy. Some, you know, loans over in GAN Pro, thanks to the Cyber Fight Alliance. A lot of those. Some more insults. He appeared on a radio show. And insulted Kevin Knight again. God, he really doesn't like Kevin Knight, eh? Um, uh, an injury. It took till August 2035 for an injury, but it was it was a broken neck. One year and one week he was out. Uh, yep. Then he relocated in 2037 to Japan. There, Kansai. Uh, he'd already relocated to Tohoku, so he just decided to move. Uh, and then finally he's retired now due to an injury. I guess that broken neck really left some lasting effects he tried to get through it he came back in end of august 2036 but then by january 2039 he says i can't do it anymore fair enough it was a broken freaking neck derby <laughs> oh god disappointing career i don't really want to insult ddt here but yeah he left aw within like six months and his accomplishments for his career, with so much promise, is two DDT Universal titles, one Defy World title, two King of DDT awards, uh, two KOD Six-Man Tag Team Championships, and a KOD Openweight title. Yep. God, let's go through them. 2025, so Defy became their world champion, April to July, only three months, one defense. Then he goes to DDT, he becomes DDT. Nope, he gets he becomes KOD, six man tag team champ. Next, September 2025 to May 20, 2026, with Thunder Rosa and Hideki Okatani. 
Uh, then he became DDT Universal Champion December to October, so 10 months, five defenses. Then he becomes King of DDT. He wins that in July of 2030. He wins the KOD Openweight title December 2031 to August 2032, eight months, seven defenses. Uh, after that, God, 2031. 2034, DDT Universal Champion, March 2020, March 2034 to December 2034, nine months, six defenses, decent little reign again, uh, before King of DDT again in July 2035, five years later he wins it again, and then his final championship is the KOD six-man tag team title, August 2035 to August 2035, zero defenses, he lost it in less than a week uh, with Saran and Rico Kaiju. God, Darby Allen, you have not lived up to your potential, have you, mate? Sorry. Lord. Uh, he's In ring-wise, he's clearly was good at it. Just no one wanted to hire him for whatever reason. I could not tell you why. Maybe it could, had to do with his style. He really doesn't really like that hardcore stuff anymore. Maybe Tony took a souring to it. Uh, 55th, 14th, 11th, 127. Uh, 2023 he wasn't in it, 2024 he returned to 127, and then he's, he's, he's gone swinging, 30, 30, 52, 58, 16, number 5 in 2030, the 5th best wrestler in the world, highest he gets though, as then it's 24, 13, 16, 25, 37, 152, 1539, Derby, 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 clearly in ring wise he was still bringing it, but no one wanted to hire him for whatever reason. Maybe maybe Tony Khan and Triple H and Steph were all Team Kevin Knight in this equation. And he said, no, don't hire him. And they were like, all right, mate. <laughs> Fair enough. Match history-wise, overall, 317 wins, 181 losses. So it's a positive record still. 498 matches, 317 wins. Incredibly positive. Uh, average rank of 78 is very good. Highest rank of 99. Oh, God, he nearly had a perfect match. I mean, look at this in AEW. In his first year, six wins, four losses. His first match all out, 88. Moxley defeats Black, Allen, and Punk in a cage match for the World's Isle. He's bringing it. Average rank of 79, all high quality. But in 2023, Tony Khan gets rid of him. And I just... He just, start, he just puts him under, doesn't let him get any wins, and then gets rid of him. He tries teaming with the Young Bucks. They say, no, he's not going to do it. He fights Adam Cole. Adam Cole says, nope, kid's not going to do it. And they get rid of him. Unlucky Derby. Tony Khan really took a souring to you, huh? God, and then he, has a, and then he went to the fire. Uh, but he's had his best match at some point. There you go, 99 in 2030. He had a 99 rated matchup. I saw one at the top. I just want to know if there's one further down. Nope. His first 99 rated match. December 2030. DDT. The or Grand Prix, the final. Uh, Darby Allen defeated Miyuki Takasi over here. Uh, he got 96, she got a 82. Very good match between the pair as Darby got the victory. A lot of high quality matches throughout his career. Uh, then he gets the broken neck. Yeah, look, he's getting 88s, but then he gets the broken neck. And when he comes back, you know. His last performance before the broken neck, he got a 67. He'd already started to slow down a bit, huh? 70, you know, 67, 70. He comes back, 59, yeah. The broken neck didn't help, but he'd already started to slow down a bit, hadn't he? Poor Derby. And his last ever match was in 2038. He defeated Mao here. Uh, and he got a 38 in the process of doing that. God, those injuries really did play their part. He's ended with absolutely no head, a broken neck, and a broken nose in November 2038. Uh, his physical health, his head is zero. So yeah, probably time he retired. 16 body, 44 arms, 34 legs. God, he's really... <laughs> he really effed up that body, huh? God. Personal info. Really hates Kevin Knight. Yeah. He speaks Japan. He just and he really hates Kevin Knight. <laughs> oh God, AEW, you got rid of him pretty early on. Uh, it didn't help you. You still went bankrupt though, which you know, fair enough. October twenty twenty nine. That's even that's early even for you, Tony Khan. 
even for you. That's a pretty early bankruptcy. Uh, of course, it is a bankruptcy. It always is. If you're curious, the last ever AEW World Champion was Adam Page, the four-time champion. He beat Seth to win it. Good call going there, Seth. Uh, last women's champion was Sky Blue. Last TNT was Danhausen. Perfect ending. Last TBS was Hikaru Shida, defeated Athena. Uh, last tag team was FTR. Fair dues. And last world trios was Moxley, Ortiz, and Santana. Fair enough. Uh, and Tony Khan gave up on the Owen Hart after one year. Good on you, Tony. You do you, mate. Uh, Impact also went bankrupt in 2035. The last Impact World Champion was Rex Steiner, Brom Breaker. God, you do you, mate. You do you. Uh, let's stay with right now. The company that really... Wait, where's DDT first? Derby. He's, he's at the top here. You know, popularity-wise. He's one of the, their popular guys. Their universal champion. God, what is... Oh, I, God, right. Primary level accomplishment. Let me find a primary. The open weight, yeah. He was a one-time open weight. So he held that primary so once. But Ruaka has it right now. W, if you're curious, Steph's in charge. The big five is right here. Bianca and Trevor are here. Uh, it is Bianca, it is Trevor, it is Ronda Rousey. And we've got Calvin Tankman and Nathan Fraser. Fair enough. W champion right now is Nathan Fraser, Universal is Damon Kemp, Raw Women's is Ronda Rousey for her E-Time, and Rhea Ripley is the SmackDown Women's, and she's going by Demi Bennett now. Crazy. Crazy, because her name is set to Rhea Ripley, automatically, but fair enough. As, yes, that cup... One last thing, actually, Power 500. 20, 30... Darby was fifth, Jacob Farto was fourth, Siuri was third, Monto scored over here is second over an impact, and Mayu Iwatani was the best wrestler in the world. As that comes to pulls into an end, this exper this god this pulls to an end, this predicts video. There you go. This TW experiment of sorts. Darby Allen's career. I mean, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This has got to be down there in terms of successful predicts videos, hasn't it? God. He got fired by AEW in less than a year, and then the the max of his accomplishment was a DDT KOD open weight title and a Defy World title. WWE never looked at him. AEW went bankrupt without him. Yeah, not good for Darby Allen, I would say. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know any other superstars you'd like to see predicts videos done for. I promise they usually go a lot more successful than this. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. I hope you have. And subscribe for more. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching.